Hello everybody, uh, this is Jose Rosa, JVROS7, that's my, uh, the name I'm going with. Uh, this is my first is tutorial video on this channel. Uh, it's about using watercolors and pencil to make balloon lettering. So uh, why this channel though? I decided to create this channel because I teach art and science and computers at an elementary school in Boston. And I wanted to give uh, some lessons to kids um, not just kids, but adults too. Anyone who wants to learn how to do art or graphics, um, I am not the best at it, but I know a few a few things. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, please subscribe. I'm adding more channel, more videos. Hopefully, I'll add one video per week, uh, maybe even more. Um, as you can see, this is my studio. In the background, I have my drafting table. Um, as you can see, I'm also a geek. <laughs> I collect comic books and uh, action figures and so whatnot. Uh, on this side, sorry, this side, I have my crib. Uh, I have a baby girl. She is four months old. Sometimes she'll be here, um, but right now she's with her mom uh, downstairs. So without further ado, here's the first tutorial. Um, bubble letters with graphite or pencil and watercolors. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, feel free to subscribe, pose questions, and uh, have fun. All right, take care. Okay, so this is the beginning of the bubble letters tutorial uh, I'm going to start with a HB pencil so if you can see it it's HB it's a uh, just a regular graphite pencil I also have a 4H pencil which is a little bit lighter so I'm going to try to use that actually and I'm trying this thing with two cameras um, this is my first video I'm still learning I'm new to YouTube channel so bear with me please so I'm going to start with writing my my tag or my gamer tag which is JROS7. So I'm just going to draw some basic bubble letters. And as I draw the letters, I basically I just go with the flow. Like I don't know how I'm going to do them until I start making them. My bubble letters tend to overlap each other. And that's pretty much how my design is going to look. I don't like the way this part looks up here, so I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to come back to my HB pencil. So I started with the 4H. I'm going to go over with the HB. Over some lines, not all of them. Make some lines darker than the other ones. So when I go over the watercolors over this drawing, the lines will serve as a kind of like a border between the different letters. I make the li lines that are be in front of another line darker. That tends to make the lines look like they're popping out some more. And I'm just using a steady stroke with my hand. Like on this curve of this R, I'll make that a little bit darker, and behind it a little bit lighter. Lighter behind it, darker in front. If I want to, I have an eraser shield that I can use to erase certain parts. For example, see this part right here? I could go over that with the eraser shield and just erase the part that I want to erase without erasing the whole line. But that's um, that's just a tool that I use sometimes. I just dropped my pencil. <laughs> so let's pick it up. I tend to be clumsy. But that's alright. It's all good. Now I'm going to fix this Z a little bit. I'll make it more like a bubble letter. Not so much like a, like a block letter. This 7, I'm kind of happy with it. Except for this curve. Now sometimes I would draw my like my wind like the window pattern for reflection. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, most um, 
Like I've seen stylized graffiti where the reflection on the bubble letters is drawn like a like a like a window pane from a house. Looks something like this. That's one technique that you can use. But I like just drawing my reflection when I do the watercolors. So I'm gonna press pause on my camera and I'm gonna come back with some watercolors and start coloring. Okay, so I'm back and um, I'm here with the tools that I use for watercolors. Um, I brought a couple of watercolor types. Uh, the first one is from Prang, Oval Watercolors. This is your basic um, grammar school level or um, school level watercolors. It's a hard palette. I use this at the school where I teach. That's not what I'm going to use today though. Today I'm going to use these Japanese watercolors that I got on Amazon. Um, links will be added or should be added to the camera already to the video so these are some Japanese watercolors they are really vibrant you can see all the colors that it has um, you also need obviously water and for that I have my Gears of War 4 cup which I hate using but I don't have another cup with me so I'm gonna have to use my Gears of War cup which hopefully won't get that damaged so anyway, I have my water, I have a brush, or a few brushes, this I also got from Amazon. Uh, I'm not using a red brush, I'm just going to use just the ones over here. Hope you can see them. Hope I don't make a mess of my studio. And I'm going to use bounty paper towels to clean and dry off my brushes. And whatever techniques I might be using at a given point. So I'm going to continue with my tutorial. I'm putting my cup somewhere so it won't fall, maybe up here where my watercolors are. I'm going to show you see that. I put that on top of my watercolors. My my table is actually inclined a little bit, which you should do watercolors as flat as you can so the waters won't drip. Um, so I'm going to just think about the colors and I'm thinking of using red and orange and yellow to make the colors look kind of fiery. Let me just get this cable out of the way. I should have done this before. This is the power cable for my camera. Let me just put that up there. All right, it's good. So I'm going to start by using the biggest brush I can, which I have. It's not really that big, but for today's tutorial, I'm going to use this brush. This is size six brush, I believe. Let me just double check. Yep, size six. Now I'm going to use keep my paper towels in one hand. Let me zoom in. Actually, I'm going to leave the watercolors on the screen so you guys can see what I'm coloring. So I'm going to do yellow, blending into orange, blending into red. I'm going to start by doing all my yellows first. And I'm just going to use a basic yellow. Let's use this yellow right here. I'm going to start by coloring the top. Keeping in mind that I'm doing a, a shine or a reflection on the edges of my on my letters get some more color you want to get the brush as wet as you can with as much color as you can if you want a rich dark color you want to use uh, less water and more pigment but if you want a light color obviously you want more water and more pigment sorry and less pigment Now I could go over to the yellow, but I want the colors to blend together. So I'm gonna go straight to the orange first before I go to the to the next uh, letter because if I do the next letter, the color the water colors might dry, and I want these colors to blend into each other. Get some water, dry to my paper towel. Let me just turn on the camera. Get some of just water by itself. I'm gonna blend these colors together. And paper towel to dab it a little bit. That looks good. There's another technique you can use, which is use is wetting your paper first with a brush. What the area that you want to blend together? And then when you add the next color, they should blend together easier. So 
So let me add this rich red that's right over here. I keep looking out to see, making sure that you can see the colors I'm using on the camera. And if you don't, I apologize. But uh, the, uh, the colors don't really matter, it's whatever colors you want to use. And this is my first basic color. Let me use that some more red. I want the red to be really rich. Especially around here. So the colors are blending and they're dripping down because the paper is not really flat. It's on an uh, incline. And some more orange. You could also mix the colors. Like if you mix red and yellow, you'll get orange. The principles of color. Get some yellow, some plain color. Put some paper towel over here, dry some of those colors up a little bit. I hear my wife coming with my daughter, so you might hear her say, Jose, time for you to take care of Abigail. I promise I'll take over around this time with the baby. So she can put the baby right in the crib and I'll just watch her while I'm painting. Hi baby. Hi Abigail. Abigail, she might hear her on the on the video. Hopefully she'll say daddy. I'm waiting for her to say daddy or papi, but she hasn't said it yet. <laughs> but you can see her in the background right there. So I'm not sure you see how that color looks. It looks like the yellow is blending into the orange, just blending into the red. So I'm gonna skip to the next letter. Do the, but this time I do it a little bit differently. I'm gonna try um, using wet on wet technique. So I'm using a wet paper, and I'm adding water to the letter. I'm making sure not to add, not to touch the red that I already use or the colors that I use on the letter J. Because if I do that, the colors are going to stop blending together. So try not to yeah. touch the edge. Sure. And this is going to have a different look than the last one. Like I said, I'm wetting the paper with my brush. And I'm going to start by adding the yellow because it's the lightest color. Get a lot of pigment and watch. See how kind of they kind of like run around the paper? And I'm going to use the reflection around the edges. Careful not to touch the other color because I don't want them to blend together. So I add a little bit of yellow going down here because I want to make it look like the bubble is um, transparent. And you can see the colors that are underneath behind the first letter. See that? Jose. Yes, baby. Go to the other. Okay. So my wife just told me that at 9 o'clock I gotta feed the baby, which I hopefully I remember. So hopefully I'll be done with the watercolors part of this by 9. Wait, if you don't remember, I'm sure she's gonna make you remember. Can't believe my wife. My wife has her own channel. She uh, always says, Whenever I make a video, you come out in the video. Well, guess what? She's doing the same thing to me. <laughs> yeah, so you know how it, it feels like. Yeah, that. but you're doing it so obvious. <laughs> you know. Again, I'm trying not to touch the other letter. Well, once in a while, right, my wife just said to pay attention to the baby every once in a while. Um, yeah, baby, I will. Abigail's my love. She's my joy. See how someone, it looks a little bit different, not so much. Um, it's a different technique. Now here comes the red. 
a lot of water down here, so you're going to see it drip a lot. It might actually drip to the white paper, so I'm, not, I'm going to use my paper towel to dab it so it doesn't drip that far out. I do want to kind of blend or seep somewhere else. It's a cool effect right there. I like that. Uh oh, Abigail's crying. I might have to pause the video to go talk to her. What's up, baby? What's up, Abby? What, you want daddy to carry you? You want daddy to carry you? I think that's a yes. I think that's a yes. <laughs> daddy. Abby wants daddy to carry her. Okay. I'll be right over, baby girl. Okay, break time, boys, uh, boys and girls. <laughs> like you're my kid students. I'll press pause. I'll be right back. Uh, later. Okay, I quieted little baby Abigail down a little bit. I'm going to do the letter O. Hopefully I can do it really fast. I'm going to start with the yellow again. This time I'm going to do it with just wet on dry. Let's go really quickly. Before she starts crying. There she goes. Oh, she's talking. She's not crying. She's saying, Daddy, come put some time with me. What's up, baby girl? What's up, baby girl? What are you saying? What are you saying, baby girl? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, yeah, you have a nice voice. You're saying, Daddy. Yeah, I hear you. And she has a, her her pacifier, so I should keep her busy for a little bit. And it, oh, that's not that's not her talking now. That's her crying. Let's finish the letter. Oh. Oh, baby girl. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Yep, I sure do. What's up, baby girl? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I hear you, baby girl. I wonder what she's saying. Let me go check on her. Be right back. All right, so you can see I have little Abigail here with me. Let me just make sure the light is not hitting her face. Um, I have her with me. I'm going to finish the drawing so we can let the watercolor dry. I noticed there's some... Dry my, my brush a little bit. I'm going to take some paint off the bottom of this oak because that paint stays there and my drip like I said the table is at an angle um, most watercolors should be done as flat as possible let me finish the letter Z hey, Abigail what do you think of the letter Z you like the letter Z I like the letter Z Abigail hush little baby don't say a word I don't even know the words to this song I think something about a mockingbird and if the mockingbird don't sing daddy's gonna buy you a diamond ring if that diamond ring goes brass I think it says daddy's gonna buy you a looking glass if that looking glass gets broke daddy's gonna buy you a billy goat if that billy goat don't pull. Daddy's gonna buy you a cart and bull. Hush, little baby. Don't you cry. Mommy loves you, and so do I. I know I have voice, a voice that can go to those game shows, those uh, music shows like The Voice and America's Got Talent and American Idol. I probably will win. <laughs> Of course, I'm lying because I have a terrible voice. I'm aware of that. But it keeps my baby occupied, right? Right, baby? Right, baby? Mm. 
Right, baby? It's not time for your milk yet. A few more minutes. What? 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 Yeah, baby. All right, this is kind of weird because I'm watching, I'm playing a video, recording a video, me drawing him up. I know some of you guys will be like, why you got the baby there? You should leave the baby alone. Don't draw with the baby in your arms. I mean, you can say what you want. I like spending time with my baby. And I want to get this first video out of the way because it's been a while I've been planning this channel. And who knows, maybe Abigail will become a hit and people will want to see more of her. More of her, right? Little baby Abigail? Wanna like my wanna play my hat? Oh, oh, oh you pulling my hat, you pulling my hat. Wanna wear my hat? You like Deadpool, Abigail? Abigail, do you like Deadpool? Do you like Deadpool? See, I can't let you watch Deadpool. He swears too much. Too violent for you. Right? Want my hat? Want my hat? Hey. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Give a smile to Poppy? Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. I gotta pick her up because she doesn't like that position. Here's little Abigail. Here's little Abigail. Hey, Abigail. Okay, so my tutorial has turned into a little Abigail video. Sorry, but you might get more out of this video of Abigail than my tutorial anyway. Hey, what do you know? So, Abigail, see my drawing? You like my drawing? You like my drawing? See it? See it? She's not too thrilled with it. <laughs> Alright, Abigail. Can I put you back on the, on the play? On the crib? Huh? Yes? I want to lie down over here for a few more minutes. See, I'm almost done with the number seven. See? Almost done with the number seven. Look, look down, look down. So let me just finish the number seven. And then I could go give you your milk. And I could wait for the watercolors to dry. Because I have to wait for the watercolors to dry before I can do anything to them. Like do the outline. And the outline, I usually use a marker or a uh, drafting pencil. Sorry, drafting pen. Get some orange over here. I noticed that I'm not um, going back to the paper towel as often as I was before. That's because little Abigail is with me. Otherwise, I would have been doing the paper towel some more. And Abigail is my love. She's my bundle of joy. It's true what they say about babies. Abigail is my first baby. And oh my gosh, she has filled me with so much joy. What? 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 What is it? What is it, baby? Hmm? What is it, baby? What is it? What is my wonderful voice again? What is it, baby Abigail? What is it? I know. You guys are probably saying, oh, Jose, stop singing. You have no voice. I know I got no voice. You ain't got to tell me. <laughs> Funny, my wife and I do karaoke. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Your voice in karaoke? That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we do karaoke, and uh, some songs I sing okay, but most of them I sing really lousily. Alright, so that's all I'm going to do for the watercolors. I have to wait for it to dry, and while the watercolors are drying, I'm going to be with my baby girl, giving her some milk. You want some milk now? You want your milk now? It's not really milk, it's formula. We all know that. Oh, want my hat? Want my hat? Want my hat? Take, oh, not my eye! Take my hat. Want to wear my hat? Take my hat, not my eye. Take my hat, not my eye. Take my hat, not my eye. Now this red on the 7 looks a lot darker than the rest of the colors. But I actually like that because the 7 is a number. And the other was all letters. So that might stand out some. And I don't like to leave my brush in my water. So I want to put my brush in my paper towel. I want to take my baby. Say hi Abigail. Hi, All right, so after uh, thinking about it some more, I decided to go to on a different route with my drawing. As you can see, little Abby's over here with me, and my dog Luna is somewhere over here. Luna, come here. Luna, there's my dog Luna. Uh, say hi, Luna. So I'm going to just uh, scan the watercolors drawing of J. Ross Seven and Bubble Letters, and I'm going to do something on Photoshop. There'll be another tutorial coming up on how to use Photoshop to touch up some drawings. 
And then I'm going to do another video about touching up the drawing, the j Ross 7 watercolors with pencils or with um, graphic pens. So this is the end of this video. Say bye, Abigail. Luna, come up here, Luna. Say hi to everybody. Come on, come on. Ah, she doesn't want to say hi. There she go, there she go, there's Luna. Say hi to baby. Say hi to me. <laughs> so until the next video, uh, like I said, the next tutorial should be up within a week, hopefully sooner. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and take care. God bless, happy painting, happy graphics. All right, good night.